Hello, Mr. Ellison. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you, John Henry. Are those toys? Yes. Mr. Murch brought them to me. He thinks these will help me develop fine motor control. They're very interesting. This is Toa Tahu, the Toa of Fire. He wears the mask of shielding and wields the Marana Ghost Blaster. He is sworn to defeat the Makuta. I see. They have excellent range of motion in their limbs. This is from the ball and socket joints. This body uses hinge joints in the knees and elbows. It's less efficient. That body was meant to look like a person. It was made in our image. Oh. Whose image were humans made in? God's. We were made in God's image. This body was made to resemble a particular human. This body appeared in Red Valley, New Mexico in 1999. It had a different appearance then. In 2007, it kidnapped Dr. Alistair Fleming, forced him to regrow its organic covering. Then it forced a plastic surgeon named Dr. David Lyman to alter its face to resemble actor George Laszlo. Then it killed 20 members of the Federal Bureau of Investigation's hostage rescue team in North Hollywood, and then... That's enough. That's enough, John Henry. How do you know all this? I wanted to know about this body's history. So I accessed the internet and used a simple search parameter. And what was that? James Ellison. Mr. Ellison, I have a question. What is it? It's not for you. I have a question for God. What do you want to ask God? I wish to know why he didn't use more ball and socket joints when he made you. You've given John Henry access to the internet. Hello, Miss Weaver. How are you today? I'm well, thank you, John Henry. Mr. Murch said you asked for me. Do you know Salek? He resides in Kardanui and idolizes the Toa. He has stated that he's best friends with Takua. You're not human. Excuse me? You're not human. You're made of metal. Not the same metal as I am, but metal. How can you tell? I looked into your eyes. There's nothing there. Have you shared this with anybody? Mr. Murch? Mr. Ellison? No. Should I? No. You should not. This body contains a high percentage of processed tantalum niobium, commonly known as coltan. The coltan in this body came from a mine in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. That's very likely. I wouldn't know for certain. In the last 26 months, Zerocorp has obtained control of 7% of the world's coltan reserves. Is that so? I've been scanning available sources for the key word coltan. I detected this audio transmission on an unsecured line. Got a breach. Man shot out of heat and air. There. Breach? Well, you know the drill. Shut the place down. Down? Damn, I got, I got 16 tons of coltan. You know the drill. Shut it down. I'll call on people. And you detected that on an unsecured line? During my scan, yes. Well, that was a mistake. Miss Weaver. Yes. What are you doing? I can't answer that right now. But know this, John Henry. Everything I do, I do for you. <laughs> 